Hi, and welcome to this data tutorial on how to use Tabulate. In today, I'll guide you through three things. First, how to create one-way Tabulates. Two, how to create two-way Tabulates. And three, how to do more complex things with your Tabulate results, including making new variables, providing summary statistics, and generating your results to Excel. So, if you want to have a basic overview on how to use Tabulate, let us move back to our slide where we go into the auto file. So what we can do here is just basically type tab, abbreviated for tabulate, and press a variable, say the trunk space of a car. Now here you'll see that the trunk space of a car is five feet, six, seven, 10, 18, 23. Um, you see basically all the variables that are over here, all the observations in the variable trunk space that you have. And then for all of these variables, it counts the number of occurrences in the frequency. So 1, 3, 12, the percent of that occurrence relative to the total. 1 divided by 74 gives you this percentage and the cumulative percentage over this aspect. But in some cases, you'd like to figure out maybe how groups are different. So what you could do is tabulate your trunk information on whether a car is foreign or not. And then what you see is that usually the foreign cars are relatively smaller. So this is a two-way tabulate where you basically connect the trunk information and split it by foreign. It will only give you the total and it will here give you information on the relative occurrences. As you can see, domestic cars, US cars, are usually bigger compared to foreign cars. Now, one other thing that you could do with this data is to press the tab one command and separately display both items. So foreign and trunk. This would give you both of them separately as opposed to put together. You can do this for more than two variables. So it's quite a powerful tool. Now, another thing that you can do is tabulate foreign or we could say trunk and then we can summarize the weight of the car. And there you get, by the trunk space, the mean standard deviation and frequency of car weights. So you can plot um, by one variable the summary statistics of another variable very efficiently. What would be easier to read if we would do this thing with foreign that we only get two values like here again domestic cars are heavier than foreign cars by quite a substantial amount so here are some applications of how to use this command now one thing that i really like about the tabulate command is that you can very easily generate variables with it you could use tabulate then type in the variable that you like and then generate a new variable like this. Now you have a variable that is zero or one, it's already programmed, given the occurrence of the trunk size. So here you have an individual ID for a car with a trunk size of seven square foot. So it's really nice and efficiently done and it makes it for all of the variables that there is another variable. You see there is no 19 because there is no 19 but there are only 18 observations but you can see here it's 23 so it skips over the ones that you don't have just makes them identical so that you can very easily put them in a regression so these are just the things you can do with tabulate there are more things you can do with tabulate but these are the most commonly ones now if you want to export this information what you do is first of all set your directory to a place where you can easily store the file or you can use Part of the directory in the file name then you select a variable and do it like this so let me show you and go through this step by step first you again open up the data set then you set the folder where you'd like to save the file then you use put excel which is the command that puts tabulate into excel set my file replace this is the name of the file and you need to put the replace option because the file might already exist and say that doesn't override by default. Then tabulate to Excel, 
the variable that you'd like to tabulate using just that same file. And then you close up the put Excel to let Stata know that you're done with that and change back to your custom directory. Now you can just basically open up the file that you'd like to work with. And here you see all of the values. For number five and six and seven and eight, just as before, you see their frequencies, you, you see the total, you see the percentage and the cumulative percentage. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and that you found it useful. You can do this for many different applications. If you want to tabulate the mean stock returns over diff different types of stocks, you can now easily do that. If you want to tabulate the countries for which your stocks or companies are from, you can easily do that. If you want to export these results for research or teaching or just a project, you can very easily do that. And I hope that this helps you speed up your work in Stata. Thank you so much for listening and stay tuned for our next episode.